Well, Respawn made a video here recently. Um, and it is about the world of Apex Legends. Now, from what I'm seeing everywhere, it is uh, the Titanfall community is cooked. And so I'm going to be giving my first impressions on what the fuck's going on here. Because I'm not going to lie, I'm getting really tired of the Titanfall community. Like every day there'd be something corresponding to a fucking Titan. And it's just, they just lose their shit. And, or it's them having another depressing episode. I mean, yeah. So, let's see what this is all about. Alright, so here's the video. Hey, looking for an oh, that's great. They give you captions. They, they turn, the unavailable captions. Let's make our own captions for the video. Gotcha, okay. Um, also Valkyrie right off the top. I don't, to be honest, I'm, I don't like Valkyrie. I, I, I despise Valkyrie because they are fucking annoying. But also every character in Apex is kind of annoying. I mean, but like, I get it. Valkyrie is the kind of the only person in Apex history that knows everything about or should know everything about back then for Titanfall lore. Because she's Viper's um, daughter. Great. I'm not even, only four seconds in. That's, that's okay. Apex history lesson, huh? Well, I didn't exactly ace frontier studies in high school. Wow, how original. This one. You just gotta go back a few centuries to get the whole story. Yeah. Let's start with Earth. Pluto. The whole Milky Way. Those are old news. You and me are at the edge of the frontier. A region of space about as far away from the cradle of humanity as you can get. People have been building settlements in the frontier since the 2200s, so that's like, what, 500 years? This isn't wow. just water either. Sure, we've got farms and some one trident towns, but we've also got interstellar travel, labs full of brainiac scientists, and cities the size of planets. Angel City used to be my old stomping ground when I bothered touching So there's Tireful 2 gameplay. All that expansion was in actual like IMC. cinematics but they're still using so they're so they're using titanfall 2 gameplay i i bet you i can probably surf the web and find that exact titanfall 2 snippet because that looked like it probably could be from a trailer that they had earlier uh, when the first titanfall 2 or or titanfall came out but it's mostly they're just showing off a lot of just their Apex trailers, which I got to give to to Respawn is that they really built the world of. You can call it Apex Legends built for Titanfall, whatever the fuck. I don't know where who what title to put this on, but I mean, yeah, I, I forgot there's Gibraltar, not Gibraltar, Bangalore, her. And, um, I think the other guy's castle. Like, there's a lot of intertwines of, like, lore. It's just, like, okay. They thought that meant they had the run of the place. Some folks called the Frontier Militia didn't see it that way. That turned into a dogfight that lasted... I'm not gonna lie to this day. I'm pretty sure anyone... If, if you're just a regular player of titanfall or apex and you don't give a shit about the lore or the lore kind of just skims over your brain even i don't know what the fuck the militia was about i'm not even gonna lie like i don't know life fucking replay the the campaign of titanfall 2 i only do it like once a year i'll replay it but I don't remember what the militia is all about. I'm not going to lie. I forgot what the whole battle between in Titanfall or in Apex lore, whatever the fuck they want to label this as. I don't, I don't even remember what it was. I, I don't, I don't remember what the whole spill or the, I have, I, I guess that's just what Valkyrie is supposed to like explain and bridge that gap. But fuck, I don't know. This, this is kind of like, well, I, again, she's mad fucking annoying. Why are we getting the most annoying character? The, hey, 
to explain the history for it. Okay, I guess. Decades. The only thing that could end it was... Yeah, baby! Titans are walking battle tanks controlled by elite fighters called pilots. That one runs in the family. The end of the Frontier War came okay. to who had the best Titan pilot one-two punch. And then... <laughs> I'll take it from here. This part's my bread and butter. Nobody knows what happened in the final fight between the IMC and the militia. Right when the battle should have been over, somebody flipped a switch and the Frontier's comms went dark. With no way to call for aid, and tapped of resources by the war, people packed up and headed for the Outlands. The Outlands are a far-off corner of the frontier that went mostly untouched by the war. Thousands of people travel to the Outlands looking for a better life. And wouldn't you know it, when a bunch of people want the same stash of supplies, things can get foobar. A civil war broke out between the Outlands planets, and it'd probably still be raging today if the mercenary syndicate hadn't stepped in. That bunch of old war dogs wasn't interested in fighting over ashes. So they got all the right leaders to the table and signed the syndicate treaty. Not everybody showed up that day. But enough put their heads together to create a real confederation of planets. The treaty offered peace, infrastructure support, and trade, and a massive uh -huh. popular sport called The Apex Games! <laughs> this is where I shine. It's a game. So, the games are a blood sport where everyone fights to be the last. Okay, no shit that's a blood sport. If anyone knows what Apex is, they kind of understand it's a fucking BR. I want to skip, like, the rest of these two minutes because I'm not going to lie. Maybe it's just, like, I don't like the a lot of Apex characters. Like, there's a, there's a good handful of them, but, like, the ones that are important to the, I guess, the lore for Titanfall are mad annoying. Like, the... So, to start off, I think, if I remember correctly, when... Uh, Valkyrie were first announced and then they were dropping like years and everything. I think Valkyrie like mathematically cannot exist because she should be like really old but I think she's only like 25 even though like when everything happened it, it was like some, so like the math for how old Valkyrie is it doesn't make sense and then all these other characters like the ones that, uh, what was her name? Hold on. What, what was her name again? This one, I don't know what her name is. I stopped playing when she got announced. I don't even know what her name is. Let's see. That's cool. I gotta fuck, I really don't want to, I don't want to play the video anymore than I have to. Because I just hate all their fucking voices. Okay, I guess I just don't get to see their fucking name. I don't give a shit. The games are a blood sport where everyone fights to be the last team standing. You've got to focus on weapons, positioning, team composition, strategy, and team composition. I mean, I guess, but like you can have the most non coordinated team and get a victory unless you're trying to go for like fucking comp ranks. But if you're just loading up like Apex just to chill, there ain't no fucking look. I'm not gonna lie, I get it, I understand. People are trying to sweat out a BR, trying to be the next whatever. But team, bro, what the fuck? I mean, honestly, it comes down to like. I'm not going to lie, I get that maybe it comes down a little bit to the player selection and, like, what they want to play. But I want to point this out. We only had a few selection. You literally picked whatever you vied with. You want to be a Samoan man, all right? There you go. You became Gibby, okay? And then, so happenly, Lifeline worked together, and a lot of people vied with Lifeline. And then you either had your Bloodhounds or your Wraiths. And then after they introduced more and more characters, it was like, you just kind of, whoever you vibed with, that was literally it. Me, I vibed with Gibby, Bloodhound, Lifeline. And then when Watson was announced, I became straight up just a Watson main. And I didn't use her kit to the fullest because I just did not give a shit. I only, okay.
So Rand aside, other than that, okay. You know, having a good time. People come here from all over the Outlands to compete, and even more tune in to cheer for their favorites. The greatest competitors of all become legends. Looking for me? And away we go! Oh, what a rush! Surviving's not for everyone. You got bamboozled. Don't have all the fun without me! Legends are some of the best fighters in the Outlands, and each of us have our own special skills. The Apex Games can be brutal, and not everyone who enters the ring comes out alive. But the Legends have survived against all odds. So we keep coming um, back. Match after- I'm not gonna lie. I still don't get the fucking lore of Apex. I I mean, I do understand it as in like what they literally explain in the the, the other portion where the fucking the mer mercenaries pretty much are like fuck it, we make our own government, Lamau. And I understand what the Apex games is all about, but I want to say they also wreck they I want to say they retconned a lot of shit or just technology was not there yet to make Apex, and it is what it is today, okay? But, like, trying to make it, oh, the, the, the legends, they, they made it to a lot of stuff, they went to a lot of shit, they, took, they, they are some tough cookies, and it's like, I don't, what the fuck, no, oh my god, fuck it, Mar Mirage is not a tough cookie, he's a fucking, you know what, I don't care, you know what, and, to see who are the real Apex champions. I guess that gives some people a big head. Some of them keep ending up in the middle of crazy situations that change the Outlands forever. Whether it's saving it or definitely not saving it. That sounds fun and everything. Pero acá, I've got my eyes on the prize. You know, the sun will rise on all of us. The Apex games have changed a lot too. New places becoming Apex arenas, secret labs getting dug up or blown up, ships crashing, cities falling out of the sky, lobster monsters attacking. It never gets old, whether you're watching it or living it. I can't wait to see what's next. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. They really were like, "Hey, let's let's give some lore." They really said, "Let's let's uh let's tap into some lore, Lamal." And like they they explain like uh, they always they love doing this. They love dropping hints of Titans into their into their trailers now because they know how to bait the Titanfall community. Though I it, it's 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 funny. It's funny. So I want to say to like legit all the Titanfall community, um, I think it's time for you guys to just, just hang it up. I I know you have been hanging in there, but I think you just need to stop. For one, I understand. I I legit understand. I, I get it. Okay. Like I, I get it that there's not that there's no games like there's legit no games no matter where you go and I get it Apex is a it's just some money cow that's being bled dry but I think it's time to just stop I mean look I laughed when the Timefall community was so up and like happy when they thought they were gonna get a three because they kept on subtly hinting like oh there's gonna be three you know oh the three this three that you know they really you know because Titanfall 2 uh got it you know got an anti-virus of you know like whatever the, their anti-cheat that's what it was they got their anti-cheat updated uh the game got updated you know all that i'm not gonna lie um, from a company standpoint, I see where why the resources are just not heavily used in the game. It's an old IP on an old engine, and there's nothing they can really add that gives them monetary gain, which is the reason why Titanfall goes on sale so much is because it's like, 
you think, oh, games on sale, they're probably making money. No, not really, because if you think about it, I mean, if you're selling a game that everyone, that supposedly everyone's up, swear up and down is good, and it sells for like two dollars. It's not. It's it's not making them any money. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, yeah, you could probably buy the whole all the DLCs and everything, but I'm not gonna lie. Like it's Titanfall two. No, oh, no. Nah. Um, I would say the modding community, the ones that were there to help out Titanfall two when, um, it was in its darkest times, was helpful. But I'm not gonna lie, Titanfall two fans uh i think it's time to quit <laughs>